and amen. Hallelujah. Turn around. Hallelujah. Shake somebody's hand. Say hello to somebody that you've never said hello to them. Hallelujah. Tonight, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After you've done that, you, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Clap offering to Jesus tonight. On behalf of the church and the pastor and the leadership team in the church, uh, uh, like to thank auntie and uncle, praise the Lord, and the family here in Sakwada, praise the Lord for allowing us to come into their place and uh, come and worship Jesus and speak about Jesus here in this place. Thank you so much uh, for inviting us and allowing us to come over here for this special time. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And to everybody, hallelujah, welcome. Thank you for making the way over here praise the lord hallelujah i don't know how many times you got lost last night uh, tonight but uh we won't say anything about ourselves praise the lord because uh, Jesus is our driver so, uh, otherwise, we, otherwise we'll have to walk all the way home eh? <laughs> so we better not say anything <laughs> so um but anyway we're gonna have fun tonight praise the lord thank you so much hallelujah i hope uh, uh you are going to enjoy the teaching tonight praise the lord so um we don't gonna go very deep but we're gonna go deep enough Praise the Lord, as you find out uh, that every time we have one of these sessions, we're going deeper and deeper and deeper into the Word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I hope last night you've enjoyed the, the, the session last night. Uh, I, I have uploaded also a part of the teaching. You can see the people that I have looked into it. And, because as soon as I, I think I was, I uploaded the picture around about 11, 30, 12, maybe something like that. And man, immediately I said, oh, people have been waiting for this thing. <laughs> but um, you can tell, eh? you, can, you can tell the night owls, eh? because they're just hanging out for it, waiting. As soon as the picture went out, bang, bang, bang. All the comments came out. That, that's great. That's good. Eh? That's good. The, ex the expectancy of God's people, we love that. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. And anybody wants to share a testimony, just a quick testimony. Anybody want to share something? Want to say something? want to glorify Jesus tonight anybody just anybody don't be shy like I said last night there's no stupid question and there's no silly eh, testimony or anything like that hallelujah even if it's chota 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 it's still barka barka in God's eyes praise the Lord I know it's broken Hindi but you understand what I'm saying amen Hallelujah. Anybody want to say something, please? Uh, Debbie, I got one testimony, Pastor. Really? Yeah. Okay, how? Bolo, bolo, pepper? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I just uh, say on behalf of the she is sorry, eh? Uh huh. Yesterday you prayed for her. Huh? She came to you and she said, uh, Pastor, can you pray for me? And I want to, I'm looking for a holiday job. Ha, ha, ha. And today she got it. Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You're shot on Sunday in McDonald's, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, it was yesterday oh. and today. Got the job. Got the job. See? So, tomorrow you're going to start? Oh, yeah. praise the Lord. Eh? Clap <laughs> offering to Jesus. Eh? Hallelujah. 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 Parmeshwar answers prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to remind everybody. Ha. Tomorrow again you're going to go and pastor is going to pray for you. For those who are looking for the job. <laughs> Praise the Lord, eh? <laughs> Hallelujah, yeah? Hallelujah. So, God answers prayers, amen? amen? No matter how simple it is. <laughs> you, we may think it's a big problem, eh? But to Parmeshwar, it's just a small thing. It's within the scope of what Parmeshwar does. He answers the prayers of his children. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else besides that? That's a mighty testimony. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Hallelujah for that. Uh, if you have your Bible, just a quick uh, verse that I wanted to share. In Psalm 119, come to the middle of the Bible. In Psalm 119 and verse 73. Psalm 119. For those of you who've got a smartphone or a tablet that's got a Bible app on it some kind of electronic device uh, all the kids today man they don't want all no that they want the smartphone now eh praise the lord they want the 300 400 dollar phone 
Praise the Lord. The fifty dollar phone are uh, given to the children to play with it. Eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm one hundred and nineteen and verse seventy three. This is how it reads. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Huh? His hand, Parmeshwar's hands, have made me and fashioned me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. That's the prayer of the Psalms. I hope each, eh, that we make this prayer our prayer tonight. Eh? That Parameshwara will give us understanding so that we will know his word. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the very thing that safeguards our life. Whether it's marriage life, parental life, student life, teenager life. Praise the Lord. Dating life. Teenagers. Come on. Don't look down. Look at me. Talking about relationship now, Pastor. Eh? Oh, all the teenagers are eh, don't go there. You say you just start speaking. But praise the Lord. Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're we're, we're talking tonight uh, about atonement. What's another word for atonement? Redemption. What's another word for redemption? Salvation. Eh? So we're looking into the things about our redemption. What does it involve? How much does it cost? Praise the Lord. Is salvation free or does it cost anything? Free. It's free. It's a gift. Free of charge. You don't have to pay for it. Amen. It's free of charge. Salvation is a gift. Amen. Praise the Lord. You don't have to pay for it. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to work for it. And therefore God rewards us with salvation. No. Amen. Hallelujah. Every one of us, eh? We have the choice. Either we receive Parmeshwar or we reject Parmeshwar. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. For me, I got saved when I was 30 years old. So for 29 years, I've been rejecting, 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 rebelling, rejecting. Huh? Until 30 years. I don't know how old were you when you received Jesus Christ to be your Savior. But you can work it out for yourself. And then we can celebrate your spiritual birthday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, you know, so mark your birth date, your spiritual birthday, because that's much, much more important than your natural birthday. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. So we have. What did Old Testament sacrifices mean? That's the Bible reading there. So if you're taking notes, you can just note it down. Hallelujah. I, I, as you already know, this is not the lesson we were dealing with last night. Eh? But this is a supplementary teaching of the lesson that will help us. Eh? Another aspect of it. Praise the Lord. So the key Bible verse there, can we read it together? Two, three. Okay, so it's Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. Eh? Praise the Lord. And this is the reason that Jesus or Parameshwar forbids in the Old Testament of drinking the blood. Eh? Because life is in the blood. And you notice in witchcraft, what do, what do they do? They drink the blood. Amen? They drink the blood in witchcraft. Doesn't matter which kind of witchcraft you look at it. Eh? Witchcraft is witchcraft. Whether it's Fijian witchcraft, American witchcraft, Australian witchcraft. They all drink the blood. Egyptian witchcraft. Praise the Lord. 
Amen? Hallelujah. Any questions so far? Blood meant an exchange of one life for another. Another word for atonement is substitution. In other words, an innocent animal has to die so that the sinner or the person bringing the sacrifice can live. Because the basic, the basic result or the basic consequences of sin is what? Death. For the wages of sin is death. death. So in other words, if we have any kind of sin in our lives, that sin, if it's not repented of, uh, will slowly start to kill us on the inside. It's like a cancer. Praise the Lord. It's like a cancer. It will slowly eat away on the inside. Eat away on the inside. Eat away on the inside. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, you, you'll notice this, uh, uh, like I said uh, before last time, I'll repeat it again. You'll notice this in marriage. When you have a disagreement between husband and wife. What's husband and wife in Hindi? <laughs> ah, when you have a disagreement. It's just a fancy word for fight. When you have a fight. Hallelujah. And each other, we don't want to ask for forgiveness. Praise the Lord. Eh? Husband go this side. Wife go this side. They sleep on the same bed, but they sleep right on the edge. <laughs> and a big space in between. You can feed a bulldozer in there. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Look at all the married people, all guilty now, eh? All guilty. <laughs> eh? Ha. Eh? But if we say, Are honey, I'm sorry, forgive me. Everything, eh? And all the time you're sleeping there and your heart is gone. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. And you, you go to work in the morning, are you still don't feel good, eh? Praise the Lord. And you watch this, being a Christian, watch this, watch this. If you still do that, when you become a Christian, you'll notice the peace of God is shaken. Eh? You don't have any rest. Because one of the real blessings that God gives to his children is what? Rest. We don't have to stress about anything. Because Parmesh will take care of all of it. Eh? That's why he says, cast your burden unto Jesus. What's the song says? Cast your burden unto Jesus. Oh, look at the teenage again. <laughs> All right? Yeah? Because he cares for you. And then we go lower, lower, and higher, higher. See me lower, lower. Lower, lower. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ah. Amen? That's why he said, eh? Cast your burn. Because he doesn't want us to be stressed out about any situation. Amen? Because one of the, one, one, one of the main killers of today... Heart attacks and all that is what? Stress. People are stressing out. Not enough money. I don't even got to pay the rent, pay the school fees, pay the uniform, but do this, do that. They're running around like wild animals. Praise the Lord. But to his people, God gives them rest. Rest. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So how does the blood make atonement for sin? Can you read the next sentence? Two, three. Notice, it's just not enough just to bring the sacrifice. Yeah? It, is, it, it comes together with the right attitude. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah? Because anybody can say the salvation prayer, but if you just say it, just mimicking it, just repeating it without any heart faith attached to it, it's just you're just repeating the words, empty words. There must be a heart connection with the words that you're saying. Understand that? Eh? That's what it says there, with the right attitude. Is the, is the focus clear? Oh, from there you can read it. Is it clearly? Yeah. Clear? Okay. I'm just looking at it. Oh, where is the blood? Okay. Yeah? 
The sacrifice and the blood shed from that sacrifice eh, made forgiveness of sin possible. On the one hand, blood represented the sinner's life. Hana. Eh? Infected by his sin and headed for death. All of us, before any of us got born again, before any of us invited Parmeshwar, Jesus Christ, into our hearts, we were all heading towards hell. That was the destiny of every person. Until Jesus Christ intervened in the course of your life and my life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So that, you do, so that you and I don't go into a Christless eternity. We, I think we are, we've made because of the pictures we, we saw from church. Eh? Praise the Lord. So I don't have to go back to that one. Amen. So on the other hand, the blood represented the innocent life of the Amen. animal. That's where the substitution comes in. Eh? That was sacrificed in place of the guilty person making the offering. Praise the Lord. So you notice that when, when, they, when they offered the animals sacrifice in the Old Testament, eh, the death that that animal died should be the sinner that was giving the sacrifice. He should have died that death. But an innocent person, let's say, died for that sinner so that sinner can live. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Eh? The death of the animal of which the blood was proof fulfilled the penalty of death. death. So in other words, if, 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 if you and I commit sin, immediately that sin will demand the price. And the price is death. So somebody has to die because of the sin committed. Amen? Yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Somebody has to die. Praise the Lord. Eh? God therefore granted forgiveness to the sinner. It is God who forgives based on the faith of the one sacrificing. So that's why in the Old Testament, eh, those people were saved by faith just like we are today. Everybody has to be saved by faith. Amen? Praise the Lord. Any questions so far? Question? Any question? Understand that? Can we move to the second one? Second part? How does Jesus' death offer atonement for our sins? And the scripture is in Romans chapter 3, verse 21 to 31, but we won't read it all. Here's just a sample of it in verse 25. God sent Jesus, read it together with me. Two, three. God, God sent Jesus, Jesus to take the punishment for our sins. And if satisfied with us, we are made right with God when we believe that Jesus shed his blood. Take the sins and his life for us. God was being entirely fair and just when he did not punish those who sinned for four times. Do you see that, eh? God introduced the animal sacrificed in the Old Testament so that at least those Old Testament people have an opportunity to be saved if they believed what God told them to do it. You see how merciful God is, eh? Right from the Old Testament, God introduced the sacrifice system so that everybody in the Old Testament will have an opportunity to be saved. The same as today. The same as today. God is still providing opportunity to everybody so that everybody will have a chance, have an opportunity, hallelujah, to be saved. Through the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Hallelujah. See, all of us here, we came into the kingdom because somebody preached the word of God to us. Amen. And this is why it is very important for us to continue with that work. 
which is called the Great Commission. Amen. And I'm glad that our church and our pastor is doing exactly that. Praise the Lord. He went to America, preached the gospel. Went to Canada, preached the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Ezekiel preaching the gospel there. Reuben preaching the gospel in Melbourne. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you see this video here? This one is going to be uploaded on the YouTube. And it's going to be preaching all over the world. They don't know it's in Sakwaga. All they know is that somebody's, eh, they're having church and they're preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And by the way, all the, all the other teachings and the services that we've done before, it's all on the YouTube. You can go check it out for yourself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So each and every one of you have been preaching the gospel on YouTube. Hallelujah. You mighty men and women of God. Thank you so much. In his death, Jesus, what did he do? You remember the picture where we said impute? Huh? He took our sin and we received this what? Righteousness. There's a transference. That happened a transfer yeah, there's a transaction a spiritual transaction happened when you and I receive Jesus Christ to be our personal Savior and Lord can I ask the question since uh, you are so quiet uh, if I get born again today if I repent of my sins today or tonight uh, and I ask Jesus to come into my life does he give it to me next year when does he give it to me? The moment you confess. The moment I confess it. Praise the Lord. Amen. The moment you and I confess Jesus Christ to be our personal Savior and Lord, that's the moment he took your sin and you received his righteousness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I see the hands of all the righteous people tonight? <coughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Be different than last night, eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So you you see now, eh? That's that. Now that's good news. That's good news. Because for every one of that sin that he took, you and I should have died for it. Amen. Amen. So you can see that none of us can, none of us can repay Parameshwar eh, for every sin that we've committed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's much better just to repent and confess it. Eh? Repent and confess it. Amen. The next one, please. Can we read it all together? Two, three. There is a way to be. God's solution is available to all of us. past behavior. That's good news, eh? Because for some of us, men, we get too into a lot of mischief eh? before we came to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Huh? Some of us were really, really naughty, running wild like an animal before Jesus Christ arrested us and said, enough of that. Come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you think of the stuff you used to do before, before Jesus Christ came into your life? Don't tell us, but just keep it to yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you know what you were like before. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Now you look so holy and you're righteous. Man, and you're so handsome and pretty. I'm not talking about the girls are pretty, not the boys. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Any questions so far? Pastor, one question. Yes. If Adam and Eve 
rather than blaming each other, ha. they have confessed. Yeah. So, can be that uh, sin finish over there? Yes, it, it, yes, 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 it did. Yes, it did because they did repent of it. However, the effect of it, remember, because there was no law given from Adam until Moses, but the because because when they sinned, it wasn't it wasn't only about eating the apple. I don't know what kind of fruit they ate, but let's just say an apple, okay? Hallelujah. It wasn't just the uh, see the, the sin was just more than disobeying Parameshwar, eh? When he said, don't touch that, eh? The, the day you touch that, you eat that, eh? You'll be, eh? You'll die, eh? But the, it was more than that. What happens that when they, when, when they obeyed the voice or the word of Satan, that's the moment they handed over the authority that they had over to the Satan. devil. Ah. It was more than just eating the fruit. Because the authority to rule on planet Earth was given to them. The authority, eh? it was given to them. And you notice in the, in the, in the temptation of Jesus Christ in the wilderness, eh? what did Satan say? If you, look at those cities, I can give it to you if you just what? Bow down and worship me. You see, Satan is always searching for someone to worship him. It always has been, always has been his uh, desire. Eh? It's always been his desire for people to worship him. And this is what witchcraft is all about. Witchcraft is about what? Satan, satanic worship. They don't like to admit it, but it, the Bible makes it very clear. Amen? Amen. That's what... The, that's what that's that's what Satan is looking for people to worship him. Right? I'll give you paisa. I'll give you wife. I'll give see, the same promise he made to Jesus. He's making to everybody. Hana, huh? same promise. Here, see the devil. The devil hasn't changed very much. Eh? Still the same devil. Still the same devil. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Did, did that answer your question somehow, yeah. Pastor? Yeah. Praise the Lord, eh? But I, I'm, I'm telling uh, that sometimes we parents, we swim in the pool of sin. Yeah. And that same pool our children, they use. Absolutely. 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 Uh, that's a very, very important point that Pastor mm -hmm. is saying here, is that because if we parents if we don't confess our sins and break generational curses of our lives, that curse transferred to your children, grandchildren, and continues to go on. Eh? <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. If, if, we don't, if we don't break the generational curse of our lives because of what our forefathers have done before us. Amen. Amen. Eh? What, what they, what, what they, you know, what they got involved in. Eh? If we don't break that stuff off our lives, it will be tra transferred even to your unborn baby while you're still carrying it in your tummy. Break the thing. Praise the Lord. Break the thing. Uh, if you, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of videos of it uh, breaking generational curses. Uh, uh, on, on online, uh, you can watch the ones we uh, we did at church. Praise the Lord, mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, and everybody suffers from it. Eh? Everybody, no matter what what your culture is, no matter what your background is, eh? everybody suffers from it. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. yeah. Hallelujah. I really believe that. Praise the Lord. Can we read the Bible verse two three? Yeah, Hebrews seven twenty seven. Uh, in in the Old Testament, uh, when the priest used to come and offer the sacrifice. 
for the nation because I do it once a year and uh, and uh, you you you'll see this uh, in the story of Christmas eh? you see this in the story of Christmas when uh, Zechariah the father of John the Baptist right it was his turn as a high priest to go into the Holy of Holies there eh? so first of all what they do is when they come in we, because we will be looking into it in in, in, uh, in days to come eh? I'm just explaining to you now so when they come first of all the high priest has to offer a sacrifice just for himself eh? just for himself because he himself has got sin in his life remember last night we deal with it sins of what word what you speak sins of thought and sins of what deed what you what you do uh, you can sin with your thought what you're thinking in your heart you may not say it with your mouth but just what you say on the inside of uh, yeah. you think i'm going to do that yeah you can pray again because i'm not doing it <laughs> how many you've done that you didn't verbalize it but you spoke it out in your heart hallelujah we won't put any hands up but anyway, because otherwise every one of us have to repent I pastor because at one time we all say it eh? hallelujah yeah praise the lord eh? hallelujah we all we all do that eh? so we sin with our mouth what we say we sin with our thought and we sin with our what we do our behavior our action Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you notice, so the priest has to offer one sacrifice for himself. Then after that, when he's clean, eh, then he has to, then, then he can offer another sacrifice for the whole nation. Praise the Lord. Eh? This is why, well, this is why I say, when you, when you come to Parameshwar, eh, when you come in your prayer time, in your personal devotional time, what's the first thing you do? Confess your sins before you start your devotion. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Confess your sin. Remove the obstacle. Remove the blockage. Because sin is a blockage. Can water go through if the drain is blocked? So no matter how much water you pour in there, it will still overflow and run all over the house. Eh? Unless you take away the blockage. And that's what stops us. Yeah? have a clear channel with Parameshwar it's because of the sin praise the Lord yeah? the reason why some people don't want to confess uh, their sins is because of pride yeah? self-righteous they said oh, I don't have to confess anything Are Parameshwar know me yes he knows you but he's already set the system there for you to follow confess because in confession itself uh, there is a humbling experience <laughs> Yeah? You are acknowledging in this relationship, Parameshwar, you are the stronger partner. I am the weak one. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Because in confession, that's what happens. And you notice people who are very prideful, eh? people who are very prideful, they find it very hard to say, I am sorry. Hmm. Eh? Yeah, people, prideful people, yeah, they find it very hard to say, I'm sorry. Amen. Amen. How many times have, have, have Parameshwar huh, told you to go and say sorry to that person? I didn't, they start the argument. I didn't do anything. Amen. Amen. Go say sorry to mommy. Are you? She's not going to make me upset. And all the teenagers say, Amen. Mm, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Louder. <laughs> Jesus' death secured forgiveness for us. This is the good news. Eh? He died in our place. He died in our place. All of us, we should have died because of our sin. But Jesus said, Hang on. I'll die for Patricia. Amen. Patricia doesn't have to go to hell. I'll die for her. Pay. Eh? Pay for her. Uh, for the penalty of her sins. So that she can spend eternity in heaven with Parameshwar. 
And that's and that goes to every one of us. Praise the Lord. In the Old Testament times, when animals were sacrificed, they were cut into pieces. pieces. The parts were washed, the fat was burned, the blood was sprinkled, and the meat was blood was demanded as atonement for sins. Blood. There's life in the blood. Amen? And God accepted animal blood to cover people's sins. Remember I said Old Testament people were saved on credit? Looking forward to Calvary. We are saved eh, on the same time looking back at Calvary. Because it happened more than 2,000 years ago. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of the sacrificial system, the Israelites were generally aware that sin costs and that they themselves were sinful. And that goes to every one of us. Eh? Many people take Christ's work on the cross for granted. I hope that that doesn't include us. Eh? We will appreciate every time we have communion in church. We will appreciate and think about this lesson that we're doing right now. Eh? The, the great price that Jesus paid so that you and I can have salvation. Praise the Lord. That's what communion is all about. They don't realize how costly it was for Jesus to secure our forgiveness. It cost him his life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? Salvation is free to you and to me today, but it costs Jesus his life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now this is the last slide. Stay with me. These verses help explain why Jesus had to die. As we better understand. Two, three. One Peter chapter one verse eighteen and nineteen. Can you read for us two three? And the ransom he paid mere gold or silver. He paid for you with the lifeblood of Christ, the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. He didn't purchase your life. He didn't redeem your life and my life with silver or gold or paisa, but with the blood eh, of the sinless, spotless Lamb of God. And his name is? Jesus. Can we all stand, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've come to the end of the meeting tonight. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm not so sure where everyone is tonight with Parameshwar. If you're here tonight and you haven't given your life to Jesus you haven't received Jesus Christ to be your personal Savior and Lord I'd like you to do so praise the Lord don't delay it hallelujah don't postpone it don't leave it for another time tonight is a great opportunity for you to receive Jesus Christ the same Jesus we've been talking about tonight you can receive him to be your personal Savior and Lord. Can we all close our eyes? Bow your heads. Hallelujah. If that's you, if that's you tonight, if I were to say this, if you were to die tonight, where would you end up? Would you end up in heaven or would you end up in hell? If your answer is... Um, Pastor, I don't know. Well, tonight can be a good night for you to 
say this prayer but say it from your heart mean it from your heart don't just repeat the words say it from your heart I'll say the prayer and you can repeat it after me and say it from your heart in a minute let's just say that prayer right now dear God in heaven dear God in heaven I've heard your word and I realize that I am a sinner that needs to be saved right now I confess to you all of my sins in every area of my life I surrender them all to you I cast them all to you. I cast them all to you. I pray. I pray that you receive them. That you receive them. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me with your precious blood. With your precious blood. They were shed for me. shed for me on the cross. On the cross at Calvary. At Calvary. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Right now. Right now. I receive Jesus. I receive Jesus to be my personal savior. To be my personal savior. And Lord. And Lord. I renounce Satan. I renounce Satan. And all his works. And all his works. From every area. From every area of my life. Of my life. Fill me. Fill me. And baptize me. And baptize me with your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit and power. And power. I pray this prayer. I pray this prayer to the Father. To the Father in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me just pray for all of us here, Father God. We're so thankful. Hallelujah for tonight's meeting, for your presence here, for the ministry of your Spirit here. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord God. That you will touch hearts, hallelujah, melt hearts, Father God. Help your people, your children, Father God, tonight as they grow in you, hallelujah, in their daily lives, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you'll deepen and sweeten their relationship with you, Father God. I pray that you'll visit their lives, answer their prayers, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and help them to grow in you. We thank you. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done for everything that you're doing and for everything that you're going to do through the lives of your people. Lord God, strengthen your church, build your church, make it strong, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. Use our lives, Father God, for the extension of your kingdom here on earth, Lord God. We praise you and we worship you. We return all the glory, the honor, the praise and all the worship to you, Father God, because it is rightfully yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Did you give a clap offering to Father?